Comrade General, my name is Lieutenant Zofia. It will be my job to see that your command runs smoothly. I have assisted in over 50 successful campaign simulations since the Great War. I believe you will be more than satisfied with my services. Please stand by, comrade. It is Premier Romanov himself. If the lovely Lieutenant Sofia is finished pushing for promotion, I would like some time with my General, please. Of course, Premier. Comrade oh, General, welcome to the future of Soviet Union. I wanted to introduce you to my little friend. This is Sam. Like Uncle Sam. Say hello, little uncle. <laughs> the Americans. They have Turtle and Children's film. It teaches them to fear Soviet Union. The little turtle sees big Russian missiles coming. And it ducks. And it covers. Duck. Cover. <laughs> Today we will make history, comrade. Together we will destroy the United States. Their cities, their homes, their dreams, and perhaps more. This is my advisor, Yuri. He will help make this possible. I am but a servant of the Soviet Union like you. However, at this moment we must hurry. Time is of the essence. Of course. Comrade, your first objective will be Washington, D.C. Show us that we were right to let you sit at our table, Comrade General. Crush the Allies in the American capital and destroy the Pentagon. Congratulations, Comrade General. See how the American President Dugan ducks for cover. <laughs> this is the coastal state of Florida. The Americans have a big naval base in the area. They could strike anywhere from New York to Havana. Comrade, you will need to build a naval base of your own with submarines to keep the weak Allied Navy from reaching open sea. General Vladimir, who needs no introduction, will oversee the operation and provide you with support from his command ship. Tazadanya. Good luck. <laughs> but of course, comrade, show us what you can do. But don't think that I will allow you to order me around. Romanov can say what he likes. Out there, you follow me. And I will be watching you every step of the way. Our nation's top leaders presided over the parades today in Red Square to celebrate the ongoing victory over the United States. Premier Romanov himself presented the Order of Stalin to the hero of the campaign, General Vladimir. We both know the truth, comrade. Just because Vladimir can retreat to Moscow more quickly does not mean he should take all credit, right? But no matter, let me share something with you. The human brain is a Pandora's box of electrical charges we can only begin to understand. Most brains are but receivers. However, some are advanced, sending and receiving charges as they choose. This is my psyche. We can, with it, we can send any message we want. We will construct this device everywhere. In the end, the Americans will be ours. Mind, body, and if you like, soul. Comrade, begin the psychic invasion in New York City. A victory there could not possibly escape from one of his eyes. Form up! All ships! At the ready! We have a situation that requires your immediate attention, Comrade General. The Republic of Korea has made a move we did not anticipate. I am tracking Korean vessels en route to what I expect to be a landing near Vladivostok. Comrade General, Premier requests your immediate attention. I'll put you through. Ah, Comrade! I was just reassuring Comrade Yuri we have nothing to fear from the Republic of Korea. Perhaps the Premier is forgetting he must remind the world of his eminence. Yes, well... Yes. 
But do not be troubled. The general here, after doing so well with New York, surely can handle the threat. Perhaps. But I, I think we should call Vladimir. As you wish, Comrade Premier. General. Da. He is war hero. He needs rest. <laughs> Take care of the Republic of Korea, comrade. Show them how we treat our enemies. With the United States reeling from one bloody blow after the other, President Michael Dugan today called to European allies from an unknown location. I now ask for your help. The United States was Romanov's first target. Join our fight, or we will not be his last. French General René Lyon has asked for a massive Allied commitment, but so far the countries have been slow to... Up Comrade, it appears we have overestimated the cowardice of our European neighbors. It seems the French gathered together with the German army along the Polish border. But these fools have left their homelands exposed. Show them the meaning of Soviet irony. Invade Paris and use our Tesla technology to short-circuit their plans. Leave nothing. Thousands of Parisians fleeing their homes today is... Absolute chaos, Jim. We don't even know if there's a president out there to call. Wait! The United States is at its knees. We all dis... Victory to superior leadership on the part of yourself and General Vladimir. Thank you. Your greatness is only exceeded by your general. I... If a special announcement to greet our latest success, I am now promoting Yuri as Supreme Commander of Soviet Armed Forces. What? Effective immediately. You are behind this, Yuri. I know this for a fact. It appears all oh, Vladimir is unhappy. Pity. We have work to do, General. The Allied Pacific Fleet gathers near Hawaii. You are destroyed the other fleet at Pearl Harbor and establish a new presence for us. General, good evening. Brilliant as usual, I see. However, I have sad news. Vladimir, you should hear this too before it goes public. Premier Romanov has fallen ill and will no longer be able to perform his duties. Really? But that is not our immediate concern. The Allies have turned to the German professor Albert Einstein who has built for them a chronosphere, a mass teleportation device. My intelligence sources have pinpointed their first target, our own research laboratory in the Ural Mountains. It is my belief that the Allies will attempt to steal our plans for their new apocalypse tank. Oh. And did your intelligence not warn you that Einstein would get involved? Or is he not vulnerable to your vulturous mind? That will be enough! You are a traitor! And a fool if you think that I will let you get Enough, away. General Vladimir! My thanks. My Consider thanks. yourself dismissed. And count your days. General, defend our mountains. I'll give the Premier your best wishes. Generals, soldiers, comrades, it is a sad day. Premier Alexander Romanov, so recently ill in bed has been brutally murdered by General Vladimir. No! General Vladimir! As of this moment, 9.15, the evening, General Vladimir is a non-person. He is now considered refused to be collected. I sense that he is holed up here at the White House, home of the corrupt capture the White House and find this non-person, then you can erase him as we have already erased him. I think it is time we had a talk, you and I. When the Soviet Union was new, there were those of us that Stalin turned to for our particular skills. We were trained to turn men's minds to our will. This is Stalin's psychic legacy. I tell you this, because you are too smart not to be curious. 
we have a situation that odd little man Einstein has provided the Allies with a device that harnesses the energy from storm clouds overhead. Almost whimsical, but effective. Destroy this device with the nuclear missiles I will provide you and get our forces moving again. General, by now I have folded Vladimir's command into yours. The weather control device appears to be here in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Sir, I am not quite clear on your intentions, but if you have a move in mind, now is the time. Comrade General, you are proving even more tenacious than I thought. What a great threat you are to your enemies. Do me this favor. Grace me with your presence in Moscow, so I may thank you in person. Before you go anywhere, you should see this. It arrived today. To be mailed in the event of Premier's death. If you have received this, then I, I presume by now I am finally dead. I'm losing. I don't know how to... Oh, Mother Russia, I'm forgetting words. Ah. Yuri, he is controlling my mind. He has killed me. If I am gone now, the command is yours. Send this tape far and wide. Take my country back for the glory of Russia and the spirit of justice. I think you are satisfied now, Da. Yuri has his own stronghold here outside Moscow, and he's amassing his own forces. But the bulk of the army is yours. Don't, don't speak, General. They are listening for you now. If we do not speak again, it has been an honor to serve you. <laughs>